Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install texture packs in Minecraft 1.16. We're going to be going over every single step of downloading, installing, setting up, getting everything you need to know up and running for texture packs in Minecraft 1.16. I'm even going to show you how to install 1.15 texture packs in 1.16 and make sure they work perfectly. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and foremost though, we do have a smart sponsor which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you're looking for an incredible Minecraft server, whether you're running 1.16 or any other version of Minecraft, you want plugins, you want mods, you can do it all with Apex. Apex Minecraft hosting. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, playdownbreakdowncraft.com. So again, if you're looking to start an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible server up and running. Again, running Spigot, running Vanilla Minecraft, 1.16, 1.8, any Minecraft version you want, you can run it on Apex. So again, first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Now, let's go ahead and download and install some texture packs. Now, one thing I will say here is that uh, you need to download a texture pack in order to install it. If you've already got a texture pack downloaded, awesome, but just make sure that that texture pack is 1.16 or at least 1.15 compatible. Once you get before that, like 1.14, 1.13, that's pretty old and it does cause some issues. So I would recommend having at least a 1.15 or 1.16 texture pack for this to work. And the only way to really be sure that it's going to work is for it to be 1.16. However, I would say something probably 95% of 1.15 resource packs will work in 1.16. So anyway, in the description down below, we have this list. And these are actually all confirmed working with 1.16. Some of them aren't updated, like DokuCraft. They're updating very soon, but they're not updated yet. And we're going to be using them to show you how to install older resource packs. But most of these are updated and up and running. So we're going to be installing today a Doku Craft here. We're also going to be installing Sfax Pure BD Craft. And then let's see, let's scroll down here and grab, I don't know, Faithful is the one that I always run. So we'll go ahead and grab Faithful as well. And when you click on these, it's going to take you off to individual tutorials on installing these resource packs. You can go through these if you want, or you can watch this video, click on the yellow download faithful button there for example takes us off to here where we just want to click on faithful on the left hand side and then we want to click on the as you can see this 1.16 snapshot 9 to be able to download this click on the blue download button there and it downloads in the bottom left right like so now we aren't done downloading yet i'm going to install three here so we're going to grab Doku Craft, scroll down, click on that yellow download Doku Craft button. Now Doku Craft isn't 1.16 compatible, as we said, it's only available for 1.15, but it's going to work nonetheless. We're going to show you that. So anyway, we can go ahead and click on Doku Craft Lite. It wouldn't matter which one, this is just my favorite. And we can click on download pack, and it will again download in the bottom left. And then last but not least, let's download Spax Pure BD Craft. So we can scroll down, click on the yellow download button there. Take us off to Spax website where we can scroll down. We need to accept the cookies, and then it's going to accept that. And then we need to click the click here to accept terms of use, right? Click that, and then boom. Now we can see Minecraft 1.16 and the version we're downloading, which we're just going to download the 128 version because why not? We'll download with the ad. That'll take us off to add focus here where we just want to wait a few seconds. Your download is not ready. It's lying to you. Your download is not ready. You want to just wait a few seconds and then click that red skip button up here in the top right. When you do that, your download will immediately, or well, you'll be taken here where your download will begin in the bottom left. As you can see, pure BD craft. If it doesn't say pure BD craft, just delete the file. And again, wait, click that red skip button. That's it. That's all you want to click on add focus. Now, finally, if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we have faithful, we have doku craft, and we have pure BD craft. We also have these temporary files. I'm just going to drag them over to the side. You guys don't need to worry about those. You won't have them. If these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little windows icon to the top left of my screen and the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon to the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that and then type in downloads right like so. And then have this downloads file folder in Windows. When you click on that, you'll find your resource packs in here. Drag them to your desktop for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get these texture packs installed in Minecraft. So to do that, we'll obviously need to open up the Minecraft launcher. We'll need to open up Minecraft 1.16, latest release 1.16 there. Go ahead and launch that on up. And then finally, once we're in game, we can install them. Luckily, there's no restarting. You can install them live, if you will. You don't have to restart Minecraft to install texture packs. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to move these above Minecraft up here. That way you all can see them easier whenever we install them. Cool. What do you think about this new Mojang Studios intro screen? I think it's a bit harsh it's on the eyes, but it does look pretty good. I love the new nether screen back here though. But anyway, once we're here, let's go ahead and click on options. And then we wanna click on resource packs. Again, from the main menu, just click on options and then click on resource packs. Now in here you have the classic look of Minecraft as well as the default resource pack. But to add in your own, click on the open resource packs button down here in the bottom left. When you click on the open resource packs button, it takes you here where you wanna take faithful, 
Doku Craft, Pyramid Craft, and any other resource pack you have, and just drag and drop it into here. It's okay if it's .zip files. However, if it is a RAR file or something like that, you need to extract that file and pull it into here after it's extracted. Now, when we come back here, if they're not here, that's okay. We want to click on Done, and then click on Resource Packs again, and they should appear. Now, for whatever reason they have in here, let's go ahead and make sure that uh, we have installed those. Boom. Go back to Options, Resource Packs, and we're actually going to restart Minecraft. I told you you didn't have to restart Minecraft or anything, but it seems like, it seems like Minecraft 1.16 has made a liar out of me, and something has changed kind of majorly about this process. You can't install Resource Packs without restarting. I know I've been, I, I literally tested these before, but I installed them and then okay, I basically restarted because I didn't open do it but anyway we've restarted minecraft here and these will all appear so very very interesting stuff you do have to restart minecraft now after installing resource packs so again we drag and drop those into the resource pack folder that we open from options resource packs and clicking on this open resource pack folder button now as you can see here we have a doku craft and pure bd craft now you might be like where is faithful the reason faithful is not here is because if we double click on the faithful file we downloaded we will see that if you click on Faithful 116, it's set up in such a way that it's not going to work. As soon as you open up the file, it should have assets and things like that. It doesn't have that. So with Faithful, to fix that, we would just take Faithful 1.16 and drag that to our desktop. Again, we found that by opening up Faithful that we downloaded here, right? And then drag that to our desktop. Now, once we have that on our desktop, I believe we can drag it straight in to our folder here and it will work. But nevertheless, we do have these resource packs. We have Doku Craft, which is the 1.15 one. So we can enable that, move it over, and it will enable right like so. And then if we go ahead, let it reload, you'll see definitely that resource pack is installed. We don't like that one, we can remove it. And we can add in Pure BD Craft, click done, and it will install Pure BD Craft, changing our textures once again. Right like so, there we go, very more cartoony look. And then we do have, of course, Faithful that we can install right like this. So now that we've got this extracted, as you can see, it is finishing up the extraction process now. So this has about five seconds left, but I don't think that's gonna be the truth. I think it's gonna be more about like 10, maybe 15 seconds, but there we go, it is now finished. We can now take Faithful, drag and drop it into our resource pack folder, right like so. It's gonna take it a minute as it copies more files. Let me go ahead and do a quick jump cut until this is finished. There we go, it is now finishing up, and if we come back over into Minecraft, I think we'll need to restart again, yes, and then we'll be good to go. So I'm just going to do a quick restart, and I'll see you after that restart is complete. So here we are back in the Minecraft main menu, we can click on Options, Resource Packs, and there it is, Faithful 1.16. Now, again, the only reason Faithful didn't work is because it didn't have the folders, where if we open up DokuCraft here, you can see Assets, Contributors, or specifically Assets, and Pack.mc Meta. And then if we open up Pure BD Craft, same thing. It'll have assets, pack.mc meta right there in that folder. If we open up the faithful folder we downloaded, it doesn't have that, and that's why we had to drag and drop it to the desktop. Now, if we go back to our resource packs folder and we open up faithful here, we'll see it immediately shows assets and pack.mc meta, meaning it's going to work. For example, we could delete this zip file here because it's not in use. Just this one is right here. That immediately opens up and shows that. But yeah, so if we wanted to install Faithful, we would just click that little check, move it over, right like so, click done, and there we go. Now it is installed into Minecraft. So that's how you can install resource packs. We can jump in to Breakdown Craft here and take a look, showing you that these are up and running and working in Minecraft 1.16. Let's go to Spawn, and yeah, here we go. I mean, look at this. Look how awesome this looks. So boom, there we go. This is with Faithful. We can go ahead and resource packs over to Pure BD Craft. There we go. It's going to add in Pure BD Craft here. All right, like so. And then last but not least, we can add in Doku Craft, which I personally think the medieval spawn looks the best with. So that's why we're saving the best for last. The Doku Craft can be moved over. And right like so, it will work, right? Just perfectly. So there we have it. Now you might be like, why are you stacking these, right? Why are you stacking these resource packs, right? So if we come over here and we go into resource packs, we can see that they're stacked. That means if, for example, this is a 1.15 resource pack, if it doesn't have the new nether textures and things like that, no worries. It's going to use the ones from Pure BD Craft. If for whatever reason, Pure BD Craft didn't have those textures, it's going to use the one from Faithful. So let's say, for example, you had custom tools that you wanted to use. There's all sorts of different custom tool only resource packs out there. All they do is use custom tools. If that's the case, you would add that to the very top of the list over here, which you can reorder them with these arrows, right? 
you can you would add that to the very top of the list and then it was going to use that and all those custom tools and then all the rest of your textures would be doku craft or whatever resource pack is below it so that's something i always like to mention here something i always like to point out because it's kind of unique kind of different and something that is very very useful if you're going to be doing that but nevertheless thank you all so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week and come play with us here on play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse we do have two incredible survival servers aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and medieval survival which we're in right now which will be updated to 1.16 very soon with a player based economy and 30 custom quests we also have incredible skyblock custom factions factions getting reset very very soon so come play with us playnowbreakdowncraft.com is the ip i cannot wait to see you online my name is nick this has been the breakdown and i am out peace